Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we got uh, the next project going on, finally. Um, what I got going is an O2 Ford Escort uh, from my neighbor down here. You're helping him out, uh, he's having a problem with his his transmission. Um, doesn't seem to want to go in reverse. Um, just No matter what gear he puts it in, it's trying to go forward. Uh, that and it's got an idle issue um, so got some things gotta be dealing with on this car um, gotta be bringing some help in on this one try to knock it out as quick as I can get this guy his car back so let me show you this car here real quick okay so here we got the O2 Ford, uh, Ford Escort it's in progress he's uses it as a daily driver back and forth to work um, it was his wife's first car so he it's got some sentimental family value to it uh, so he's trying to take care of it trying to get the body worked on on it get you know get it cleaned up um, while he's using it to go back and forth to work so And he was sanding it down here and found a little bit of body repair that had been done previously and been covered up but they never knew about. So that's something he's going to have to deal with. But what we're going to be dealing with here is that guy right down in here. The good old transmission. So going to be starting to tear this guy down and he ended up going and buying a replacement transmission which he hasn't brought down to me yet he ran to the parts store to get the new fluid and uh, or gasket and filter kit and some new fluid um, and then we'll go ahead and move that transmission down here and we'll go ahead and start working on swapping this out all right. All right. So I changed clothes. <laughs> I'm in my grubbies. Been working on this thing. As you can see, all greased up, having fun. All right. Having fun. So we got this new, the replacement transmission that he's got here. He already went and painted it. I don't know color he wanted to put on here or what he had laying around got all these parts pulled off axles pulled cross members out engine support bar on there I'm sorry I can't get more detail right now I ended up it did have a friend here helping me out um, to get this far just in a few hours um, and where we're at right now only got these these three bolts here or nuts just finger loose here ready to go got one bolt right back behind this hose I don't know if I can get the camera in there let's see well I don't know if I get the camera in there to be able to see it anyway so got one bolt up here Got all these other bolts. You got three bolts, right? One, two, three. And those are what hold the starter in. Got that already out. Got these other bolts out. As you saw, I got the exhaust pipe with the catalytic converter and O2 sensors out. All I did is disconnect the O2 sensors. I didn't turn them out. <clears throat> out of the pipe. Got the linkage off. Cable linkage from the shifter. Got that pushed back out of the way. And now there are three mounts on this transmission. One up here, and then there's two underneath on that cross member. One up front, up here, but down underneath. You can kind of see it right there. And then there's another one right there. And those you can access the bolts on that cross member from underneath 
bunch of connectors to disconnect. You got one back. I can't really see it. Right back down in there. Um, we got a couple other ones that are running through here. Another one up in here. Um, but yeah, right now the this engine support bar is holding the weight of the motor and transmission. Um, found that this upper mount here is just it's it's toast it's split in a couple places it was actually sunk all the way down where i could actually get my thumb all the way in here with in between the rubber and the metal so it's toast um and then also this rear lower mount actually i'll move around down here see i've got the had to take the lower strut bolts out be able to tip the rotor and hub back to get the axle out and I'm gonna pull the, drop the transmission with the axles in it and I'll, once I get it out then I'll pop those axles out just the easier to deal with it out from under the car um, took the bolts out of the pan put a couple back in but we took the bolts out of the pan to drain the pan get the fluid out oh yeah a couple transmission cooler lines that we disconnected those are actually up one is right up in here and the other is back around up see one connects right here the other one is back up and up in there but you can get it from up top and then this rear mount is what i wanted to show you guys which is right there and this guy is just completely destroyed it is toast so he went the owner went and ordered the new new mounts unfortunately they're not going to be in for a few days so this is going to be sitting in my garage for a couple days instead of being a, just a quick weekend job a couple days in and out i'm going to have this transmission in but i'm not going to be able to finish it up and put everything back together until I got the starter sitting there. Get those mounts in. Oh, that's another thing we discovered. Um, I discovered here is we discovered this beauty right here. Got the heat shield off. And as you can see, you can see daylight right through this thing. It is split in half. Complete, almost completely. That crack almost goes all the way to the, the head. And it goes all the way around you can see daylight right through that sucker so he's checking in to order a new manifold um, he said no big deal he's put it back together he'll end up if he has to he can't find a manifold uh, uh, he was wanting to actually go with a header if he can't find a header that's gonna bolt to the factory exhaust then he's just gonna go out to the local pick apart place in uh local junkyard and get him get himself one and come back to bring it back to me and we'll change it out for him and get that taken care of so ended up finding the issue with his he took the parts because he's going to go get adapters and stuff but he had this con nice conical air filter here hooked up to the half of the factory air box air filter tube canister which the mass airflow sensor sits in and what was happening is that inside piece of the mass air sensor was sitting into that outside housing but it wasn't sitting in there solid so it was tipping and creating a vacuum leak and his car this thing would not idle when it would when he tried to bring it over here it was spitting and sputtering trying to stall um and then all you had to do is tip that back up and all of a sudden it'd smooth right out so what i did was take the mass airflow sensor out of that housing and told him just to get a reducer to go from the air tube going to the throttle body down to the air mass air sensor size there's about a half about three quarters of an inch smaller um so he should be able to find an adapter at the local parts store here um 
pretty easy, fairly cheap, and be able to get this all, little homemade cold air intake set up, get rid of that restrictive air box, you know, a canister, and get that going for him and make it run better. And then we'll should be able to get rid of this exhaust leak here once it gets the replacement manifold. All right, guys. So this is awesome. It ended up, ended up bringing in, like I said, I brought in some help to get this project done. Um, my buddy ended up having to take off and go home because his wife had to go to work for at night here. Um, so he had to be home to watch his kids. He's going to be back in the morning. We're going to get this transmission back, back in, in the morning and, uh, try to work on getting some things buttoned up. The owner's going to bring some transmission fluid in probably tonight. I'm going to deal with this transmission and get, get it rolled over on its side. Um, take the pan off because back here I've got the new filter and gasket kit right here. And I'm going to throw on new filter and gasket on that thing. So this thing will be all freshened up. Got to take a, these other halves of the connectors that junk air just cut off. So I'm going to take those off because the stock ones are going to, and this old lines, take those ends off. Take the shifter linkage that they just, they just cut it off over here. So pop that out, get that off of there. Use the stock one is fine. So we'll get that in place. And uh, get this sucker back in there for him, and then it'll just be getting sitting there, hanging on the, the support bar here, and uh, waiting for those new mounts to come in. And then we can, when the mounts show up, then I can just slap those in real quick and button this thing back up in probably about an hour and a half or so, maybe two hours, get it back together, and. Uh, be good to go again for him once I get done I'll be able to pull this thing out in the driveway out here spray it down with some degreaser get all this grease off and hit it with a pressure washer clean it all up for him get it back the way he give it back to him the way he better than the way he gave it to me so and that's that's what I enjoy doing about this I enjoy and that's where my passion is is making things better uh, and because he's seeing how how quick I'm working and how what I'm the detail I'm going through with this all the stuff I'm finding and willing to get go the extra mile to get it done for him um, he's always saying yeah I'm, I'm telling my all my family um, we're gonna kick all the work to, to you so awesome awesome absolutely awesome they're going to kick all that work to me um you know it's probably going to be spread out it's not going to be all immediate but that's still the, the positive word of mouth you do good work and you go the extra mile to help somebody and you don't try to take advantage of them to, to line your own pocket and people appreciate that and recognize that and spread that word of man this guy's honest this guy's good he cares about truly cares about what he's doing you you got to try you got to give your work to him you got to go and see him you he'll help you out he'll he'll get you taken care of and that's what i strive on yeah you see all my games in the back for my family <laughs> i know i don't have any kids yeah anybody that know me you know different i got kids Hence the reason why gray hair, considering I'm only 40, 40 years old, I'm gray. <laughs> I'm literally been pulling my teeth out. Haha. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I got six daughters and one son. So yeah, <laughs> I love them to death though. Wouldn't trade one, any single one of them for the, anything else. Love them to death. I'd be willing to lay my life down for any one of them at any given moment. Anyway, so, awesome time. 
this this project went a lot faster yeah we ran into some delays but that's okay i'd rather run into the delays for the positive benefit of getting this thing fixed right instead of just a rush job get it in get it out i don't do that this is the way it needs to be done this is the way all shops should work everybody that does the work this way it should be done this is the way it's supposed to be done this is the way i do it this is just how i roll all right guys so you're liking what you're seeing you're enjoying this that's great i'm gonna go ahead and end this video now i'll probably i'll finish recording as i put this thing back together upload a second video of part two of putting this back together in the finished product um so i'll even talk to the owner and see if he wants to be in on the next video just a little guest spot and little little interview with him see if he, he's willing to do that all right anyway you guys have a blessed evening and like and subscribe share it with your friends let's build this channel let's grow let's have fun let's keep making things more better more faster all right have a good night